Looking at the compass here now, we can see that it's made up of two parts essentially. You've got the base plate and you've got the capsule or housing. On the base plate, we have a magnifying glass. We've got uh, a line down here which you can line up on a map between two points when you're taking a bearing. You can also use the edge for that, but the millimetres can hide information under the map. It's not as accurate. Millimetres are useful for very accurate measuring. On the 1 to 50,000, for instance, 2 millimetres is 100 metres. 1 millimetre is 50 metres. So this is the Roma, the scales, if you like. So there's 1 to 25,000, 1 to 50,000, 1 to 40,000. And each line on this, so for instance there on the 1 to 40, that's 100 metres, 200 metres, 300 metres, 400 metres and so on and they've even put some old inches on in case you've got a one inch to the mile map. If we look at the capsule or the housing here, we've got the normal numbers around the edge. Each little black line is equivalent to two degrees. Magnetic variation at the moment is about two degrees and these compasses probably are generally accurate to around about three to four degrees. It's diff difficult to be specific on that. Also here we have this arrow to help us align the needle when we're taking bearings and we have an arrow down the base plate here which is known as the direction of travel arrow. Uh, compasses uh, needles are magnetised and in the last three or four years there's been uh, a quite a lot of recorded cases now of compasses not just having the needle deviated by being near metal but by having permanent uh, repolarization of the needle. So in other words the white end starts pointing north uh, permanently and not the red end. And I'll just illustrate this as a sort of one of these sort of smartphones and it has a very strong magnet in the speaker and if I kept stroking that around as it might just jump around in the lid of my rucksack or my pocket I could eventually change the polarity on that compass needle. Um, folks are unaware that actually a lot of the little cases also have a magnet in to help hibernate the, the phone. Do you see that? So I would advise you to keep them well separated, keep your compass a long way away from your mobile phone and also quite a good idea to keep your compass perhaps in a soft pouch so you can avoid scratching it and uh, it'll add some robustness to it and you're less liable to break it if you sit on it.